the new ownership has really stressed that. That's thing that the previous McCord ownership did not do that as well. And uh, the Giants have done that well. They have Mays, you know, back in training camp and Cepeda and Marichal, those kind of guys. And it's kind of a nice situation. Villawald, the pinch hitter. What do you know about Villawald there? He's out of Garces High School. Hit a pinch hit home run in the regionals last year at UCLA in the final game of the year. And uh, check swing. 3-0 and count. So uh, he's, again, the runners looking for base runners here. They're down 5-3 in the bottom of the seventh. Connor Berry in the pitch. Four is one in for a strike. Three and one now. Dustin Fraley on deck. He's now playing center field. There was a little bit of an issue whether he'd be playing defense this week, but with after the uh, position changes. Beal draws a walk. And the runners do get a base runner. So good start to things. <laughs> so you got Fraley and then David Metzger on deck. So uh, this is really kind of the inning. You got your best hitters coming up and uh, looking to uh, get something happening. Again, Oklahoma got a lot of bullpen arms. They've got somebody warming up down there. So if Connor Berry runs into any <laughs> trouble at all, I wouldn't be surprised that he'll be on a quick hook tonight. The interesting thing about baseball here now in California is that, you know, a program like Oklahoma, which is heavily recruiting its own state, which is terrific, has to compete against a Southern California school like CSUB to, you know, that basically has an entire roster of California athletes, including several from the Inland Empire, where I'm from originally, that has, you know, close to 5 million people in it. And, you know, so CSUB and other programs have been able to recruit California very, very effectively. And with the weather being the way it is here, these guys play probably 125 games a year. Well, uh, they can almost go year the, round. That's from the, the time thing. they're nine years old until they get into high school. Well, they, all, they go year round. Now, sometimes yep. that's a concern if you have a pitcher because you're always right. wondering about overuse on your arm. Barry struggling a little bit with his control. Fraley now has a three ball and one strike count. Crowd getting a little bit excited here as uh, the Roadrunners trailing Oklahoma 5 3 here in the bottom of the seventh. Nobody down. Here's the 3-1 pitch. Swung on a double play, possible ground ball to second. Throws to second for one. Over to first. Double play. Yeah, nice. Nice double play there. You know, Fraley, who's, again, had that little groin issue, and uh, you always wonder if he's if he's coming up a little hobbling a little bit over there at first. You know, that's where the adrenaline's flowing. You know, you're yep. trying to get something done, and uh, you can't very well say, hey, just jog it out and just concede the double play. That's not going to work. But uh, you hope he didn't uh, strain a little bit. Bottom line, though, that's a big double play. Yeah, and the Sooners uh, suddenly now there's two outs, nobody on, and uh, Metzger coming to the plate. Metzger line drive. Oh, what a play! Noisy leaping catch at shortstop, and uh, Roadrunners, after a leadoff walk, wind up going three up, three down.